Welcome everyone to another wonderful episode here at Jaws of Podiatry. We have a young patient who has... Pre Thank you. You're very welcome. He's only 89. 80. Just kidding. He's 80 years young. That's right. And honestly, honestly, he really... He doesn't look 80 years old. You can say it in English. Yeah. People say it. But uh, say it I, 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 absolutely. I speak yeah. the truth. Yeah. He looks in his young, young 70s, late 60s for sure. Just right around there, just like Caesar does. I was okay until like my problem with the back that killed me. I used to play tennis every day. I used to go home. All kind of stuff. Feature, you screw it up, all that is gone. Active. Functional decline, ladies and gentlemen. We all get there. Let's take care of ourselves. But nonetheless, um, he's here, I think, for a fourth opinion, third or fourth opinion, possible, probable fungus, onychomycosis, uh, long toenails as well. So let's take a look with, uh, you know what? Let's just take a look. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you know, we have a very discolored, brittle, toenails, subungal debris, you know, and, you know, we did already speak quite a bit about the possible, you know, solutions that we, that we can implement at this time to make everything better. No such thing as a cure, no? Um, so, you know what I was thinking, Caesar? That, you know, at one point you were really, really, like, focused on, you know, making sure that you use what did you buy the blue blockers like those glasses the shield you were all dressed up and then today i look at you you don't even have a mask on i'm regretting it you know anytime that we were cutting trimming toenails you were very mindful about making sure that you don't eat one of these toenails whatever happened you were so focused on that and then it just you kind of just forgot about that You have nothing to say. Keep them up, so. Yeah. The, the, the good old saying, when we trim toenails, no talking. When you least expect it. I can't tell you how many pieces of nail I have eaten in my lifetime. You're kidding. Me. I'm not kidding. Wow. And there's nothing to, like a, you know, there's nothing to chase it. No glass of water, no glass of milk. Well, they use a mask. <laughs> we do but somehow they get sometimes they even get through the mask <laughs> oh yeah it's like eating a Cheeto you see what I mean you see yeah I saw that you saw that I felt that oh there it is in my hair one. no no you went this way you went Gotcha. Yeah, when I get home, I have to sort of like shake myself off, right? Before I, I mean, I see nails everywhere. Callus. Skin. I was born, I was born and raised in, in San Juan, Puerto Rico. You went to the university there? Nope. I went to New York. Oh. I went to New York. I wanted to, I wanted to take a look at what all the fuss was out of you know was all about in New York. Yeah. Oh yeah? Yeah. ¿Cómo se llama? Santiago de Soma. Santi de Soma. Mentira. Sí. Para la cámara. Let's continue here. Very carefully here. 
user watch out. The patient has, has tried a significant amount of different treatments, none of which have rendered any type of clinical improvement. You know, the first thing I asked the patient, you know, historically, you know, how do we identify if there's a possibility of fungus, also known as onychomycosis, I love saying that. Um, we take a little piece of the nail and we send it out to the lab. And that's exactly what we're gonna go ahead and do also today. I really love this little nipper, Caesar, thank you. You know, today's a great day, Caesar. You know why? Why? Because you told me we're upgrading something for the world, no? Yeah, these are tricky. Look at these. Caesar, can you get a shot of that? These are tricky. It's like someone just... Just twist the into... También? Está bien carnadita. Con mucho cuidado estoy, oíste. Y trátame con cariño. Siempre. I'm telling this young gentleman that I'm being very, very careful. Thank you so much. Watch out, oh. <laughs> you gotta put that in. No tiene que poner, dude. Is it in? A ver. No, chico. Yeah, you have too much hair there, dude. It gets lost. Yeah, right. Okay, so I hope you leave that in the in the video. For sure, you gotta leave it in. So anyways, uh, for all you people, Caesar just got whacked. He's so, like, he's so dramatic, too. It's like a little piece of nail fell on your head. No? He's very meticulous. Mm. Meticulous? Yes. Extremely. Look at this nail. God has a way, Caesar. Today, you you haven't war you didn't you chose not to use those uh, the shield and this and that. You're getting bombarded. It's right here in my lap. <laughs> oh yes. Patient has a callus also. I got a callus on this and uh, this one too. Oh, that's okay. It's all right. Oh, yeah. We'll buy you a new one. See, so brittle they're like. They just kind of peel off. You okay? Yeah. Ah, oh, you're picking up on my lines, bro. <laughs> Let's try that again. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. Okay, good. great, great, great. Oh, Caesar. By osmosis, you're learning all the tricks of the trade, my friend. He's got this little callus there. And, and you're good at callus in this one, too. Yeah, yeah we'll go ahead and, and definitely addresses as well. I'll give a little bonus to the world, right? Caesar? Sure. See, this is, I love this little nipper. Much more than the uh, double action.
Y pues vamos a mover así, excelente, perfect. So you see this is... Mm. Right in the noggin. Ahí. Estaba encarnada. Ah, excelente. Estoy viendo en televisión. So a lot of viewers say, why don't we cover the nails? You know what? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Why don't we, um, I'll answer that question. Or after I curette some of this. I think it's pretty straightforward. Yeah, I mean, listen, you know, we want... If I do this, can you guys see anything? There's no point in making a video. Right. That's the reason why we don't do that. Oh, ah, na 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 right? So, we obviously do that when we don't record. Yes, but we do this so you guys can actually see what we're doing. Excellent. Ahí. ¿Cómo está? You okay up there? ¿Está bien? Sí, sí, está muy bien. Just getting all of this debris out of there. So if I gotta take a bullet for viewers, I'll take. That's right. That's right. Everything else is good here. Then we'll we'll go ahead and let's kind of move over here. Same thing. Remember, this is a sharp curette, not a dull curette. It's time for the. Uh, a saber. Wepa. Sí. Seclish. Okay. You want me to say something? Sure, tell me what you did. See how great a job I did? Something like that. <laughs> I think you did fantastic. You did fantastic. You did very, the, the first time somebody go through it with my feet like you did. This is not bad for my first time doing this, right? No, no, you look very good. Thank you. You earned your money today. <laughs> I won't say what I wanted to say. Hey, go ahead and say it. <laughs> we, so what, what did we discuss today? Number one, identification of the problem. We're going to go ahead and take a little piece of that nail and we're going to go ahead and send it out to the lab. We want to identify the problem first uh, so we can subsequently treat the problem accordingly. Okay. You know, a lot of the doctors that, or the, the previous clinicians that, that the, the patient has seen, 
have recommended a lot of antifungal remedies. The problem, what I, you know, what I was telling the patient was, you know, and, and he's coming here and saying, but Dr. Wagner, I've tried all these things and nothing has worked. So what do I say to that? I say, well, maybe it's not oh, fungus. fungus, right? You, you have been treating the oral some, thing, the oral thing. right? And something that may look like a duck, quack like a duck, but it's a swan, not a duck. Does that make sense? Yeah, sure. Okay, super. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Caesar, did that make sense to you? Oh, yes. <laughs> cool. So um, we will continue to do what we do, educate the world that these uh, clinical presentations uh, do exist, subsequent treatments, and um, it's, you know, at the core of what we do, education. You're going to call me then and tell the medicine, huh? Absolutely. We do, we do like, me. I don't have yes. Okay. So, you know, these days what we like to do is we use, you know, telemedicine, telehealth, uh, virtual teleconsultations. So, you know, patients this young don't have to really move around. All, all my doctors, about 90% are using the platforms. Yeah. Good. That's the way it should be. Embrace the change. As always, thank you for watching.